Good morning internet, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks. Today we're talking about the Highway King sidecar again. I've got some news on it. If you're not a Highway King fan or you're not interested in sidecars, you're probably not gonna get a lot out of this video except to complain about how high Harley Davidsons are and I'm just gonna probably ignore those comments. A couple days ago, somebody sent me some pictures from Champion that had been put out to promote the sidecar. We get a look at how the sidecar looks on the Highway King. If you have not seen the Highway King in person, all I can tell you is this thing is beautiful. I mean, you know, some people like to bitch about Harley Davidson, but the paint and the finish on this thing is just gorgeous when you see it in person. I got to see one of the orange ones at uh, Pig Trail Harley Davidson during the Ozark Rumble Rally here a few weeks ago. Here's some shots of that bike. I don't know if I can do it justice, but it looks way better in person than it does on video. So yeah, somebody shared these promo pictures with me. I'll show them here to you on the Highway King. I also went out and looked on Champion's website. They're the manufacturer who's making this bike and got some ideas about pricing. I was able to get some retail pricing from my source. I don't know if these things are public yet or not. I did see a video recently on Instagram that showed one in real life at a bike show, but I don't know if it was a customer you know, delivery or if this might have been one from Champion had there at the bike show or something, because it was in California where Champion is based out of. Regardless, it looks cool, but it's not cheap. So it looks like my source says retail on theirs is gonna be around $15,000. That sounds like a lot of money. It is a lot of money to me, there are people out there that will buy this and that can't afford it. But if you go out and look at Champion's website, the sidecar starts at about $7,000 without like matching paint and fancy paint schemes and all that stuff, without the luggage rack, without the windshield, without the side lamp, without those, you know, depending on what kind of wheels, it goes up from there. So when you start figuring on a fancy two-tone or three-tone paint job to match the bike, you know, Harley Davidson's paint, which is gonna be more expensive, I expect that's a three or $4,000 paint job on the side car. So now we're at 10 grand, wheels and luggage rack and windshield and extras, you know, 11 or 12, you know, and then there's gotta be dealer markup on it. They've gotta make something off the sidecar. And that doesn't include, you know, crating it and shipping it. I found out also, if you didn't know, Champion makes reverse gears. So the source I have has actually ordered theirs with a reverse gear, which still has to be installed in the bike and stuff, but then that one will have an actual reverse. So, I mean, you can imagine trying to push a sidecar up a hill backwards to get into a parking lot. It's, it's a struggle with the bike, much less the added weight of a sidecar and how that goes. They have steering dampeners, they have all kinds of accessories on their price sheet here. Um, but. Regardless of the price, I still think it's very cool that there is going to be a paint match sidecar to go with a Harley Davidson. And you know, if you look at the price, 15 grand plus the 27 grand for the beautiful Highway King motorcycle, you're at 42 grand plus tax and whatever else installs and crap and stuff. But the fact is, there are people who are spending 40 to 50 grand on trikes and if they would rather have a motorcycle with a sidecar, I mean, that's cool if they've got the money. I think it's awesome. The one flaw with the Highway King that I had a lot of comments about in my video and that I mentioned in this video here about the Highway King 
is the seat height. It is tall. If you're a short person, you need to go try and sit on one before you think about buying one because with that uh, 68 style seat, it's a much taller seat height, at least until you get on the bike. I don't know how much it drops down laden, but as I recall from the specs, it was not a lot. So uh, it's gonna drop under suspension and bouncing and things like that. But when you pull up and park, you're still gonna have to have legs long enough to reach the ground to get that thing parked, unless you do the sidecar option. That might make it easier because then you don't have to worry about the bike falling over. So uh, I guess if you're a short person, you just gotta have the Highway King, you get you a sidecar to go with it. It's a $15,000 kickstand that's on all the time. Cool stuff, just wanted to share it with you guys. I know I had some response on the Highway King thing and I know some people wanted to know what the pricing was gonna be and that's what I have found out. I wanna tell you guys all to have a great day, stay safe, keep on riding and we'll see you in the next one. We're out.